Has the web designer blues got you down? Do you feel that you can no longer achieve what you used to achieve in Squarespace? Are you missing those little blue boxes? Little ovals with a plus icon that were just that little bit too small, making it really fiddly to update. Do you feel that life no longer has any meaning? Well, I can't help you with the last one, but as for the others, I might have a little surprise for you. Cheers. My first job today is to show you how to get those little blue ovals with the plus icons back in Squarespace, especially if you've seen some of my previous tutorials that are now out of date as a result of it. You've also may have seen another YouTube video that we've added all about spaces in Squarespace. That again shows how they're no longer needed in the new Fluid Engine, but how you can access them nonetheless. So without any further ado, let's crack on. I'm going to click the plus icon here and we're going to add a new blank page. Alternatively, you can choose an existing page layout. At this point, I can rename the page, but I'm just going to press enter to keep with the very original new page option. I'm going to click edit. And now I'm going to add a new section. At this point, I've got a load of templates, which are all based on the new fluid engine. That's where we can get these new swanky effects like scrolling text. And I still haven't found a really good use of that yet. That doesn't look corny, but we'll get to that someday. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, we can add a blank section using the classic editor. So if I click on either, it will create a new classic editor section. And we can see on this left hand corner, we can upgrade at any point. But if we don't upgrade, we've got our blue boxes back. The boxes I'm talking about here, we've got our little ovals with the plus icons, and all is right with the world once again. I can use lines to scaffold pages using the 12 column grid. Yeah. There's an awful lot we can do with the classic editor. So let's just add some placeholder text. We'll add an image to the right. We might just add a quote block as well. And we're going to add a new column with a title. So if I was to add a text block directly above this one, Squarespace will automatically merge them together. So that's where I use the lines just to separate them. Okay, so far so good. What I might decide to do then is just to move that to the left. So our title will be in its own column and then we've got two relatively even size, I think. Yeah. Just doing a quick check with the span of my hand. Yeah, they look the same size. And I'll put the heading on the top left hand corner. Okay, so that's how we used to be able to add pages. I'm just going to remove that image because we can't see anything there. That's how we used to be able to add pages in Squarespace. If I press save, the details have updated. We're good to go. Say I wanted to create that same section in the Fluid Engine, and this is where you have a decision to make. I'm adding a blank section using the new fluid engine we don't have that upgrade in the top left hand corner that's a telltale sign instead it's replaced with add block if i was to add in our lines first i can add the first one in then i can move it into position choose roughly the same length but it won't be identical it really depends on how you set up the page using the grid blocks and spaces between them. So we might decide just to leave a bit more space in between these because we can now. We've got the option also to duplicate these elements, which is really handy. I'm going to click another block with another text area. But this time I'm going to drag, resize that text. And I can then move our text block down lower. And you can see that we're starting to get the shape of the page above. 
I'm still probably a little bit quicker with the old editor, if I'm being honest. But the new Fluid Editor allows more flexibility to move things around that little bit easier. We're not as constrained to the grid. Okay, so we're clicking it once more. And now we can switch to Heading 2. Might have even been Heading 3 by the looks of it. There we go. So they're not identical. One thing I hadn't noticed before now is that the lines are thicker on the newer editor. So we can see it's just a little bit bolder there. Not sure what that's about. But once they're in place, it's really up to you then how you edit them. With the new Fluid Editor, if I go into Edit section, there are additional options. Like, for example, we can get rid of or adjust the spaces in between each grid block. So that gives you a tighter control over the look and feel. And you can do that on a section by section basis. The one caveat is I would recommend using this consistently throughout your website. So if you're building a website that has no space in between the grid items, it would be good to replicate that on every page you create and every section, because that means then that we've got a really nice consistency between each page. The last thing we want to see is spacing like this and then go into another page and spacing like this. Most people wouldn't notice, but I would. And if we're looking to create the highest level of polish, this is the type of thing we need to be considering as designers. Hope you found this helpful. Hope I've made your day by showing you that these blue boxes are indeed still available on Squarespace, at least for the time being. I haven't heard anything about Squarespace looking to get rid of them anytime soon. But yeah, leave a comment with your views on whether you prefer the blue boxes or the new fluid editor it'd be great to hear from you otherwise we'll catch you in the next video cheers